Hi everyone, welcome back to the Gallagher Shots YouTube channel and welcome back to episode 3 of the Football Manager Survivor Series. Uh, this is where we take all the fixtures, all the results and all the transfers uh, from real life, load them into Football Manager and then we take over from Eddie Howe as Newcastle United Manager on the uh, last day of the transfer window, so January 31st. 2022 and we see if we can save newcastle can we actually avoid relegation uh, if you haven't already checked out the last two episodes they will be linked in the description below um, i'll also put a card up in the corner for episode two um it's worth going back through and having a look at those kind of explains everything we've been doing up to now but yeah, in the last episode, we topped it off with two wins. We beat Aston Villa at home and then we beat West Ham away. Uh, two really good good games there, some good results. The last minute uh, winner um, on the West Ham game from Jacob Murphy, which really uh, set our season up. Um, we'll have a little look at the league because we're still in the relegation zone. Um, like I said, it's only from the 31st of January, so all the other fixtures have been played. Uh, Watford have won a couple of games in this, so they are still in it. It looks like Norwich and Burnley are going to be the two that we're going to really pull away from, but who else is going to come down? Will it be us? Will it be Watford? Everton, Leeds and Southampton are also still deep in this, but we will see. Uh, like I said, we'll jump straight into the gameplay uh, and we'll have a little look at the table. Okay, so this is the table as it currently stands. As you can see, uh, we're still in 18th. We have 22 points um, from 24 games. Uh, let me just go to the competition section and see a little bit better, get more information there. So you can see we've got four wins, uh, 10 draws and 10 defeats um, from 24. Um, we are pretty close to Everton. We are pretty close to Watford. Um, in fact, we're equal on points to Watford. It's only that goal difference really that has the problem. Uh, and we're also pretty close to Leeds and Southampton. So if we can get a win under our belt uh, in this episode, that will be uh, great. We are still in the FA Cup. Um, in the first episode, we beat West Brom, um, which took us into the fifth round where we have drawn against West Ham. Um, I will be playing that game uh, in this episode. Let's just go to the schedule. Um, so we'll start with the Brentford away game in the Premier League. And then we'll move on to the West Ham game for the FA Cup. Uh, like I said in the first episode, we can import all of the league information, but we cannot do the cups. So as you can see, we got pretty far in the Caribou Cup and we got, we're got we still in the FA Cup. So we'll continue with that and hopefully we can get a nice little cup run uh, from this. I know the board want us to reach the uh, quarterfinals of the FA Cup. So if we can do that, that would be nice because they also want a top half finish, um, which... I don't think we're going to get uh, based on the league at the moment. There's a couple of other things that I've done um, in the training. Um, if I go to the individual training, I've actually assigned individual training to every single player for the position I want them to play in. So you can see that Matt Target. I have him as the complete wing back in attack. Um, and also some additional focus. I've done that for every player. Um, I've done that from the start. It's something that really helps with uh, your players adapting to your formations in Football Manager. And one thing I've done since uh, we started this recording, um, I've created a second tactic. Um, there's been a lot of calls for going for the back. Obviously, this lineup is different. I don't want to change around this. So what I've done, I've put in this 4-4-3 um, with full back roles as opposed to the complete win backs, uh, but also an anchor in defence, so an actual proper central defender. Obviously, it won't be Jamal Lascelles. That's just because I'm sticking with... Uh, my 5-2-3 or my 3 at the back, um, which is more of a hybrid, because uh, the familiarity is getting there, and I think, you know, I don't want to change things too much, but I want them to learn this formation in training so that if I do need to switch to it, they're ready and they're familiar with it. So I've added that to their training schedule, um, but we will be using the 5-2-3 primarily in this game. So what we'll do, uh, I'll go back to the schedule, um, I'll rejoin you uh, when we're about to go into the Brentford game um, unless anything else happens uh, like injuries or anything like that uh, uh, just a little update on a midweek game that happened Southampton have beaten Everton 1-0 uh, with Adam Armstrong getting the goal which is uh, nice to see him helping us out so that leaves Everton right 
in the thick of things with 23 points and uh, they do still have a game in hand on us but yeah that's that's also helped Southampton jump out of this kind of mini league that we're in but a good little result for us um they haven't been going our way too much like I say Watford have won a couple of their games to bring them right back into contention as well but thanks to Adam Armstrong um he's paid us back uh, quite nicely there Okay, we're just about to go into the Brentford game. Uh, just uh, want to go over the lineup before we do. So I made a couple of changes. Uh, I've brought in Fabian Sherback. Uh, he had a little knock last time, uh, so Fernandez makes way. And Lascelles also comes back as a covering defender. Uh, Trippier, I am playing. He seems to be okay. Uh, he seems to be fine in terms of his... Um, workload it's gone down to medium i am resting ryan fraser though he did pick up a little little injury midweek couple of days um he's not back to full fitness he hasn't trained so uh, miggy almiron is coming in as that inside forward and attack but i've got jacob murphy um should i need him as well as i've got Mankio to replace Trippier should i need to as well so yeah, lineup is Dubravka and goal with the three centre backs as Shaw, Lascelles, and Dan Byrne. I've got Matty Target and Trippi as those complete wing backs. Uh, Bruno Gamares as the deep line playmaker. Joe Willock as the box to box midfielder. And then in attack, I've got Saint Maximum and Almiron as the two inside forwards with Callum Wilson as the complete forward. Callum Wilson hasn't been uh, performing too great as of late, so I'm hoping he starts to pick up. I think. Like I said in the last episode, it's familiarity with how I'm wanting them to play. Um, but like I said, with that training that we've set up, the individual, hopefully they'll stop picking stuff up um, on here. He has got a three and a half stars for his role ability, so he should be, uh, he should be good for this. But with all that out of the way, let's jump straight into the game and I'll see you at kickoff. Okay, and we kick off the game against Brentford. Um, again, probably another important one, judging by... Um, other results, um, as Almiron's picked up the ball pretty much straight away. Is he going to get the cross in? No, he's getting tackled straight away. Um, but we've maintained the ball. Willock out to Trippier. Uh, Trippier's going to run with that, get straight past Henry. Uh, but the cross is blocked. Willock does recover, and the cross is blocked again. It's out for a corner. Very rare you get stuff from those first um, highlights, but here we go. Uh, St. Maximum now with the corner, crossing it in. Uh, doesn't meet a Newcastle man, although Trippier can pick it up. He's now out on the left. Uh, can he cross it in? No, he can't. Um, as Burnley have gone 1-0 up by Maxwell Corney, which isn't uh, what we want to hear. Uh, and that came to nothing. Uh, just notice there, Palace are now 2-1 up against Burnley, so all is good in that game. Christian Eriksen plays a straight great ball to Canos over the top of target, who recovers well and does a nice little uh, block for that little cross there. Um, keep forgetting Eriksen has signed... Uh, for Brentford as Janssen there had a free header Bruno was marking him but didn't really do much and uh, it was a good save by Dubravka in the end okay we have a corner and St Maxim's going to cross it in and it doesn't again get past really anybody but he's picked the ball back up and he's taken a shot there and it's a good little save um, as it looks like Burnley have just equalised again so corner with another goal it's two all in that game there's a highlight. Uh, Shaw's picking up, passing it to Trippier, who gets tackled straight away by Henry. Um, Tony's got the ball. Oh, he's just hit it off the crossbar. <sighs> Squeaky bum time indeed. Okay, Dan Byrne there with a great tackle. Passes it straight back up, but Janssen's beaten Wilson every time there. Might have to swap him for Wood because I think there's a height disadvantage there. Um, but we are still playing on as the ball. Trippier should just let that go. He should just let that go out for a goal kick. But he's picked it up. He's running with it. Uh, Wilson has it back to Trippier. Uh, Trippier back to Wilson. Can Wilson play it in? He's got Almer on there. Almeron's back to Trippier, who's played the ball in for Wilson. Can Wilson get it? Oh, that's a great, that's a great block by their defenders. Um, that's a good little play, that. And Burnley are 3-2 up. At half time, it's 0-0. Um, yeah, pretty disappointing game. Um, we've had three shots, one on target. Uh, they've had six shots, one on target. We have had more possession, um, 54% and a 90% pass completion rate. But uh, yeah, not too many highlights there. We'll go into the second half and we'll see what happens. Okay, I'm going straight into the second half uh, with a Burnley uh, with a Brentford kickoff. Um, oh, Keep an eye on that Burnley game uh, as well, just in case that... Yep, there we go. It's 4-2 to Burnley. Uh, that game has everything, it would seem, and Burnley are really coming into it. I don't think they're going to get close to us on points, but uh, yeah, keep an eye on that one. Uh, as 
Brentford just had a corner. It was cleared by us, but they still have the ball. Uh, that goes over everybody with uh, Tony <laughs> running the ball straight out for a throw-in. Uh, we'll take that all day. A couple of poor performances. Um, Wilson's at maximum. Almiron uh, not playing too well. Uh, might make some changes uh, soon. But yeah, it's still nil-nil. There's not many highlights to go. I do you know, do hope this picks up a bit. As Almiron has the ball, plays it over to target who plays the ball through to wilson uh wilson shot is blocked again by jansen i think that's a about the third or fourth time that's happened in this game performances aren't really going great i'm gonna uh, make some changes i'm gonna take off almiron and bring on murphy uh he wasn't playing great with a 6.3 and i'm also gonna bring on wood for wilson um wilson just hasn't been performing um 6.3 yet again Fabian Shaw's on a yellow card, but I'm going to keep him on. That's probably going to be the death of that, and he'll probably get a red card in the next highlight. But uh, yeah, we'll replace Murphy. Uh, sorry, we'll bring on Murphy, and we'll bring on uh, Chris Wood for Almiron. And Matt Target has just been injured. I'm going to bring on Paul Dummett. I don't know to what level that injury is. Let me just see. What does it say? Uh, potential knee injury, uh, which isn't great. Yeah, not the best, but we've got Paul Dummett coming on to cover for that okay 85 minutes i'm going to try and keep a hold of this uh this draw now we're going to time waste just a tad and i'm going to change the mentality down to balanced uh, i'm also going to switch uh, murphy and st maximum on these flanks because i think st maximum's not having the greatest of game so we'll see what happens there uh, as we go into the last five minutes of the game and it's a Brentford free kick that's a great block by Lascelles uh, but he's offside anyway by the looks of things there it's been all Brentford this game it's, we've had no highlights at all this half um, but here comes Wood he's going to pass it to Murphy Murphy does a little flick to turn uh, he's still got the ball he's straight past uh, Roboslev who crosses it in and Wood <laughs> Wood with the header but it goes straight over the bar uh, Wood did score in the last game which was nice um, we have a free kick in the last minute Trippier's going to cross it in Murphy's got it back to Trippier can he get a cross in uh, no he can't it's blocked uh, but we do have a corner I said Maximum steps up for this corner 95th minute can we get another last minute goal that would be outstanding uh, if we can St Maximum's going to play it in and he doesn't even get a pass yeah that was poor um, so nil nil uh, not the best of results, not the best of performances. Um, we didn't really uh, have much. We only had one shot on target, and that was in the first half. Um, six shots in total. A um, couple of decent performances. Lascelles, Dubravka, Trippier, uh, Bruno Gramarez, all playing sevens. A 7.3 for Dubravka, who gets the best performer for us. Um, and I think Eriksson, yeah, Eriksson got man of the match uh, for that one. Um, yeah, not the result we wanted, but we'll take it. Uh, another point on the board. Uh, would have been nice to be getting three, but it's still better than nothing. Um, still happy with the pass completion of 91%. 52% possession, just shots and shots on target are just non-existent. I'm wondering if these uh, these forward players are playing a little bit too wide from each other and maybe they need to sort that out. But we'll stick with this. I don't want to uh, change things too much because... It, it just means they have to learn it again. But we do have that second 4-3-3 uh, three, three formation up our sleeve should we need it. Okay, so an update on the Matty Target injury. Uh, he is out with sprained lead knee ligaments. Uh, he's out for five to six weeks, which is an absolute nightmare. Um, like I said, we do have Dummett. We've also got Mankia who can play on that side. So one thing that was nice about that draw is it does take us out of the relegation zone, um, albeit until Watford play it to, at the very least because... Uh, they do have a game in hand on us, uh, but we're out of the relegation zone, which is nice. 23 points. This is really going to go down the wire, I believe. Um, but the next game that we're going to be looking at is the West Ham uh, fifth round FA Cup game. I am going to be resting a few players, bringing in a few uh, players uh, who have been on the bench. Um, and I might also try that new 4-3-3 formation and see how the players get on with that. Uh, but I'll see you at that game. Okay, so we're just about to jump into the FA Cup game uh, against West Ham. Um, I have switched to that 4-3-3 formation, um, made a few changes as well. Uh, so in goal, we've got Carl Dolo come in, and then we've got Mankio and Lewis as our fullbacks. Uh, I can use Lewis in the Cup, uh, even though he doesn't have a squad number in the league. I've um, got Sean Fernandez as our ball-playing defenders. I have decided to keep Shaw in. I've uh, got Isaac Hayden coming in um, as the anchor in defence to help cover with uh, Sharon Fernandez 
uh, in this uh, kind of it's almost like a, a hybrid back five even though it's a 4-3-3 and keeping Bruno in as central midfield and attack as well as Shelby I'm hoping they're going to run forward uh, and then we've got Dwight Gale, Joel Linton and Callum Wilson as the front three um, I feel like the inside forward roles that we were playing or we were using were leaving the striker a bit isolated so bringing them in a bit closer and moving using them as more of an advanced forward um, may help with that We'll see what happens. Like I say, this is just a test. I'm not too fussed about the cup, if I'm being honest. But uh, we're playing it, so it's going through. So we will see what happens. So I'll join you at kickoff. Okay, am I going straight into the kickoff? Uh, FA Cup fifth round. Let's say the board wants us to get to the semi-finals of this. But to be fair, I'm not too fussed about this as uh, we've picked up the ball quite nicely. Monkeo's. Run to the byline. Uh, Shelby's going to pick it up. Can he get the cross in? Uh, no, he's played it back to Mankio. Mankio plays it out straight for a corner. This is how the last game started, uh, and it was an awful game, so let's <laughs> hope history doesn't repeat itself. Uh, Shelby's crossed it in, and I think that was Fabian Cher there. Had a free header. Uh, didn't quite hit the target, but good start. Fernandez with a nice little inception, then Shaw's going to clean that up quite nicely as he plays it to Mankio. Mankio to Joel Linton, back to Shelby. Mankio's going to get that run and get the ball back Shelby was after the run there you could tell Dwight Gale with a, a first time volley I think he was offside yeah he was oh that was a close free kick there by West Ham Cresswell just hitting the side netting uh, 10 minutes gone this has already had more highlights than the last game uh, as Cresswell crosses in a ball he's hit the crossbar and and then I, I don't know what happened there but the ball hit the crossbar and nobody responded I think it was Darlow and Lewis were just stood looking at the ball um, not the best starts it's 1-0 as uh, West Ham have another highlight but Fernandez is going to pick it up with passing it Hayden uh, Darlow's going to put his foot straight through that uh, and Dwight Gill's not even going to attempt to uh, challenge for it but we've picked it up Bruno intercepted to Shelby now Fernandez has it uh, he's going to play the ball to Jamal Lewis uh, can Lewis do anything with it he's going to play it back to Fernandez uh, who's going to bring it forward and find Lewis again he's got a bit more space this time um, but he's dwindled on the ball we've just hit the crossbar Joel Linton with his head there it's a cross by uh, Grimares um, we're playing a bit better in this formation although Callum Wilson's still having a stinker up to now 22 minutes gone West Ham have a corner I'm going to cross the ball in uh, it's dealt with by Mankio. It's coming back in, but it's dealt with by Bruno. And Callum Wilson's going to pick this up, and he can run with it. Um, it's going to stop and pass it back to Lewis. Lewis to Hayden. Hayden to Shelby. Uh, Mankio's made a nice little run if Joel Linton can find him, but he goes to the other side. Lewis is going to cross it in. And it's a goal for Joel Linton. Um, nice little play, that. Good little cross-field pass by Joel Linton. Then he made the run to get to the uh, far post for meeting Lewis's cross. So... I thought he was going to play a monkey over there. That was a nice little run by Monkey, but uh, Lewis picks up the ball and he plays a nice little deep cross uh, for Joel Linton straight over Cresswell. And it's one all, 30 minutes gone. West Ham have a free kick uh, straight into the wall. No worries about that. Uh, but they do still have the ball and uh, Berahima is going to cross it in. Fernandez with the clearance there. Uh, Dollar was in no man's land with that save. Uh, Joel Linton wins that header, but Wilson just is not interested. Again, he's having a really bad game. I don't know what it is with Callum Wilson, um, but he just doesn't want to perform for me in this. He's normally pretty good in this game. Yeah, he's down with 6.4, and that's it for uh, the first half. Quite a close little game. We've had a lot more shots on target uh, than we did in the last game. We've got five shots on target uh, with eight shots in total and a 54% possession and a 90% uh, pass completion rate. So not a bad little... Uh, first half considering this is a brand new uh, formation and they have very little familiarity with it uh, three yellow cards is a bit concerning maybe I've got the uh, intensity a little high but let's just jump straight into the second half and the second half has just got underway uh, with West Ham kicking us off uh, we have a corner John Joe Shelby is going across the ball in and Fabian Cher with another free header just puts it wide um, and this going straight into another highlight uh, as the keeper's played it straight to Fernandez. Um, Fernandez is going to play to and from Bruno, uh, Shelby to Shaw at Hayden. Hayden's played a Mankio there which was a nice little ball over the top who's found Joe Linton who can make the run. Callum Wilson with a shot uh, from the deflection. Uh, Shelby still has it. That is a penalty uh, if ever I've seen one. Uh, it's going to VAR but 
Shelby was tripped there. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind that that was a penalty. Yeah, penalty awarded. Who is going to take it? It's Callum Wilson. Let's see if he can actually get this goal. Uh, cool as you like. Just slots it in the right-hand corner. Sends the keeper the wrong way. Uh, it's 2-1 uh, with 66 minutes gone. I am going to make a change as well. Um, but let's just take another look at that. Yeah, cool as you like. Uh, Fabianski sent him to the shops. Absolutely the wrong way. Um, yeah, 2-1. Uh, I'm going to bring on Matty Longstaff for John Joe Shelby because he has been booked. I'm also going to bring off Gale and play Chris Wood. And I'm going to swap Wood for... Wilson so Wilson's going to be more of a an advanced forward hopefully we can start using Wood as a target man um, in this but let me confirm those and let's get on with this second half okay we have another uh, highlight uh, it's Bruno's picked up the ball is he going to run it in he is he took a shot but it's blocked uh, Noble can break with it we seem to be a bit light on men uh, but Mankio's covering back we seem to get got enough men back as it is um Noble has it again. Uh, Longstaff's going to meet Cresswell. Bruno's going to meet Suchek. And Kufal is going to play it down. Lewis didn't do much there to, to block that, but Shaw cleared it. Um, I'm going to take off. I'm going to do, do a little sub here. I'm going to bring off Bruno. I'm going to bring off Miggy Almer on. Um, I'm thinking more for the next game. Can I do that? Yes. I'm thinking more for the next game because uh, we have another game in like four days' time or something. So I'm going to bring off Bruno. Um, give him a bit of a rest and play Almiron. Uh, Lewis is playing the ball to Wilson. He gets it back. Plays it to Hayden. Hayden to Fernandez. Fernandez to Shaw. Shaw plays a nice ball over to Murphy. Uh, sorry, to Mankio. Uh, Mankio gets a cross in. Uh, Chris Wood gets a head to it, but it goes just wide. Johnson to Suchek. Suchek plays the ball over the top. Antonio's going to get to that as well. Uh, oh, that's a great save by Darlow and a great clearance by Mankio. I thought that was going to be two all there, uh, but Darlow with a great save. Okay, we've picked up the ball. Jamal Lewis has it on the wing with Almiron passing it forward to uh, Wood. Played a really nice ball there. Tackled, but uh, Wilson has it. Passes it back to Almiron. Almiron smashes it home it's 3-1 um looks like we're going on in the fa cup uh that was a nice little run by longstaff even though he did get tackled uh callum wilson picks it up does a little turn and uh, sees almer on unmarked and he just yeah near, near post absolutely brilliant uh nice little finish by almer on still 3-1 we have another highlight lewis uh, plays it to Almiron. Almiron back to Lewis. Lewis crosses it in as Mankio picks up the loose ball there. Um, he plays it to Joe Linton. Joe Linton has a shot. Uh, Wilson picks it up. Um, yeah, there was an offside. I thought Joe Linton was offside. That is it. The full-time whistle has gone. It's 3-1. We move on um, in the cup. Some really good performances there. Um, Wilson seemed to prefer that role better um, as opposed to being on his own. So this could be a formation that we... We move on with with four at the back. Although with this uh, Saint Maximum and Fraser don't really uh, fit into this very well, um, but we've got a nice little kind of defensive setup, so we don't concede too many goals. Um, and then, yeah, like I say, we we seem to be scoring, so we'll see what we do in the next games. So that about sums it up for this episode. Um, not a bad couple of results: uh, draw in the league and a win in the FA Cup. Um, we'll have to see in the next episode who we get in that next round of the FA Cup. Yeah, we're out of the relegation zone as well. So good news all around. Um, I'm liking that 4-3-3 formation. Um, I don't want to switch to it straight away because obviously there could be some um, familiarity issues with that. But it's an option. It's something that we've got to switch to should we need to in certain games. And like I said, I think it'll be good against some of the bigger teams like when we play Liverpool uh, and Tottenham and, and all those. Um, but that's it for this episode. Thanks so much again for watching and thanks for your positive feedback on this series. Um, we will be back next week with episode four. Um, until then, please hit the like button. Please hit the subscribe button. Uh, it costs you nothing. You obviously don't only get just these videos. We've got all the podcasts. You've got the almost all the Smiling Faces podcasts. You've got the match previews, the post-match patters, uh, the behind enemy lines, uh, and also extra time. Um, all those videos come throughout every single week. 
uh, so please subscribe to the channel and if you want to throw a few quid our way you can always become a member uh, it's 2 99 a month or 4 99 a month depending on what you want to pay um, that gives you access to the telegram group um, that telegram group was absolutely buzzing on sunday um, after the villa win uh, i think i had about three thousand messages waiting to read um because i was actually at the game uh, so I, I didn't wasn't able to check because we all know what the uh, signal is like in the ground um, but it's a great group of people uh, all like-minded you'll get access to that with both tiers of membership and you also get early access to some of the videos stuff like the my united videos um, they all go on early access and also some of the midweek videos as well um, so yeah if you want to become a member there'll be a link in the description below but yeah that's about it for this episode uh, let me know in the comments uh, what you're liking what you're not liking what you would change um we're going to go to the end of the season and if we stay up, if we don't stay up, we may even continue on to season two. Uh, we will see. Um, but that's it for this video. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.